We'll learn about these narrative elements, right? This text that's not code. We'll learn about how to create hyperlinks, how to create citations, how to create footnotes, etc., etc. Next, we'll learn about YAML and that helps you configure your document. We'll touch on using CSS. I'll walk you through how to create a dashboard like the one on the screen at the moment and a few other tips and tricks like how to get your citations and references into your PDF. Now, let me show you how easy this is, right? Go to File, New File, Quarto Document. Give it a title. Author, you don't have to. And now you get to decide, is this gonna be an HTML document, a PDF or a Word document? You could also decide that this is gonna be a presentation, right? If you wanna make a dashboard, then you wanna stick with HTML and create. And boom shakalaka, we've got our first quarter document. It sticks a little bit of text in there that you're gonna delete. Let me quickly talk you through what it is that you're seeing on the screen right now, right? This is your quarter document, right? At the very top in this box over here is what we call your YAML. And we're gonna talk a lot about that in future videos. It's basically the metadata that Quarto needs when it renders the document in terms of formatting, et cetera, et cetera. So this is very, very useful. At the moment, it's just the basics. It says format HTML. If we change that to PDF, then this would output as a PDF, for example. Below that, we've got these narrative elements, right? So it's just put some stuff in here, but look, you can say this is a heading two, we can change that to a heading one, for example. You edit this, you basically would edit this in the way that you would in a word processor. And down below, we've got our first code chunk, right? So this is executable code. And in this case, a one plus one, you would see this in the rendered document, right? You would see one plus one, and you'd also see the output of that, which would be two. Now, you might not want the code to be in your document, well then you can put in this little bit of YAML over here, and this echo equals false just means don't show us the code. When you wanna insert executable code, you simply go to this pull down menu, executable code, and R. there are shortcuts for these things, but we're gonna stick with pull down menus for now. And when you're done, you hit render, and it will create the HTML or PDF or Word document that you've been creating. All of these steps are very clear and easy to follow here in this HTML document that I've created. So click on the link that's on the screen right now and you'll be able to look at this document and practice what you've learned. Okay, I hope that was useful. Don't ever change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Speak to you soon, take care, bye.